This is the book of Baruch, chapter 2 and verse 25. And lo, they are cast out to the heat of the day and to the frost of the night. And they died in great miseries by famine, by sword, and by pestilence. Called Noyam Hawala, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Sai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors are going out to the venerable apostles of the great millstone, along with the elder bishops who rule and teach the congregation of the living well. Salutations, peace, and blessings be unto the Ba'ath Shadawada, which is the house of David the elect, beginning with his servants, the prophets, Yuakim, who are out there laboring in sound doctrine, preaching and teaching correctly on the highways and byways throughout the four corners of the earth, on down to all those among Yasharala who hath believed our report, the men, women, and children, believers, they too are going to be delivered out of this coming destruction. And that's what's coming, especially to America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great, total destruction. But before those ICBMs come, all right, we're going to be going through a time known as Jacob's Trouble in the Bible, all right, which is going to be, you know, uh, 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 which is going to be a, a time of uh, uh, sorrow, Okay, a time of the sword, a uh, time of pestilence, okay, a time of famine, all right, and a time of upheaval, a time of earthquakes, etc. All right, but this video, all right, is going into, uh, okay, a, a report I seen on Newsmax earlier this morning, okay, uh, going into this, uh, this drug resistant fungus that's spreading. You know, they say it's spreading at an alarming rate, okay, in uh, in Babylon. All right, so, and this is according to the CDC, which is, the, you know, we, we call the CDC the Center for Disease Creation because that's what Esau does there, all right? It's Esau, all right, Edom being the so-called white man, all right? He's got his his, his wizards and his, uh, you know, uh, drug dealers, okay, and his, his uh, physicians of no value, okay, creating diseases, literally. All right, in these laboratories, you know, all throughout the earth. All right, so we know he he is is uh, uh, responsible for the uh, the scamdemic. All right, and that so called uh, nineteen thing. All right, but hey, ultimately at the end of the day, the Most High Yahweh Bashem Shai, okay, is sending pestilence. All right, sickness, disease on you people. All right, and it's gonna uh, it's gonna yeah, it's gonna hit. Two thirds, you Israelites, all right? Who are you, so-called blacks? All right, West Indians, Haitians, Latinos, Native American Indians, you make up the twelve tribes of Israel according to the Bible, along with you Israelite foreigners and speckled birds. It's going to hit two thirds of you, all right? But it's also going to do in these Babylonians too, man. All right, these Edomites over here in America, and these heathens, all right, who uh, don't want to go back to their homelands, okay? Pestilence is going to wipe out millions of people, millions upon millions upon millions. It actually, are, you know, is already doing that, you know, because these, uh, what do you think these uh, SHOTSs are, have been? You know, that's been a, a, a pestilence. All right. And, and these things are spreading, man. So uh, I'm not going to play the whole thing. Uh, but it's another sign of the times, man. All right. Pestilences. All right. Hey. Hey, he's coming against this place, man. This place is falling. America is being torn apart, man. Okay? Ultimately being torn apart by Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. It's the time of her judgment, man. The scripture says in Isaiah the 47th chapter, her time is near to come. All right? It's either Isaiah 47 or Isaiah 13. All right? It's one of those. You know, I'll get that, Lord willing. All right, but let's, let's play this. <laughs> Welcome back to Wake Up America. The CDC says a deadly fungal infection is spreading through the United Rocky, States me, at um, an alarming rate. Let me turn on my um, turn on my do not disturb. All right. Great. All right. Now that we've gotten your attention, let's bring in internist with MDVIP, Dr. Frank Contessa. All right, Dr. Frank, this has been all over the news over the last couple of days. I read it. I said, oh, my gosh, here we go again, talking about something that's spreading, that's contagious. Um, talk to us about this this fungus and how does it spread? Sure. Good morning, Allison. You know, I thought the same thing when I read the headlines. You know, here we go again. Uh, to me, that there are some parallels, at least in the way the news is being presented to the monkeypox outbreak. You know, you have a potentially dangerous, potentially uh, deadly uh, infectious organism 
that really only affects a very small percentage of the population. So when we're talking about Candida auris, which this fungus is, we're talking about people who uh, have immunocompromised, the very sickest, the very weakest of us. Normal, healthy people have nothing to fear from this particular fungus. So we're talking about nursing homes, long care facilities, you know, things of that nature. So the average person, when you read the headline, you know, drug resistant uh, fungus, uh, one third of people who get it will die. That's true. But the people who get this are the sickest of, of people. So yes, a, a large percentage of people who get this can potentially die, but very small amounts of people are susceptible to this. And what is concerning, though, is that is it is becoming drug resistant. So the normal uh, armament of drugs that we use to treat these funguses, this is resistant to. So th there is some reason for concern, but the general population doesn't really have to have a, a lot of fear about this right now. Okay. And, and so how does it, it spread? It's just from person to person, or how does that work? It's contact. It's left on surfaces. Uh, when you touch a surface, there are people who walk, who walk around with this who are not sick by it. They're, they're colonized. So you can have healthy people who are not made ill from the fungus. It's just on their skin. It could be on their clothes. And it lives on surfaces for a long period of time. So what's important is for long care facilities and hospitals to maintain high standards of sanitiza your sanitization and, and cleanliness. Because if they do that and they keep the rooms clean, and they and they follow procedures, then you can keep this thing under control. And then, so what is it? It's just it starts off just as you know something on your skin, and then it just spreads throughout your body. And then, does it affect affects you internally as well? Right. So, so what happens is if a normal person comes in, a, a healthy person comes in contact with this, their immune system is going to fight the fungus. It's going to keep it under control. It's going to actually kill and and control the outbreak. Someone whose immune system is weakened are not going to be able to mount that response. The fungus can start to grow in the blood. Yeah, and what, what's what been going on for the last several years with this devil? You know, with all the chemicals he's spraying in the atmosphere, all, right, well, all the drugs these people are on, it's it's doing what? It's compromising these people's immune systems. So if you took that SHOT back in 2020 or 2021, whenever you took it, okay, what, what did you do? You, you compromise your immune system, okay? You know, the, the most high, Yahweh Bashmi Shai, he says medicines come from the earth. All right, not from these witch doctors, man, not from this pharmacia, okay, not from, from Esau's dope, man, because remember, this dude right here, this dude speaking, he's a physician of no value, man, he's a forger of lies, hold on, let's get that, all right, let's get that, for, let's get that forger of lies scripture, all right, ha, I was reading about North Korea, they, uh, they came out the other day and said, North Korea's got 800,000 men that just joined the military. Want they want to, to blast Babylon off the map? <laughs> um, what is that? Job 13 and 4. So this guy is saying that you know most 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 people don't have anything to worry about, but right? the only thing you'd have to you know the only type of people who need to worry are the elderly or people with you know compromised immune systems. Well, that's a lot of you Babylonians, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is the book of Job, chapter 13 and verse four. But ye are forgers of lies. That's everyone at the CDC. That's Dr. Dr. Fraudchi. OK, forgers of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value. OK, who's the great physician? Y'all busting me out with shy. All right. He's the one that can heal you if you're sick through the herbs, man. OK, again, medicines come from the earth. Let's get that real quick. You know, not these doctor's offices. And the word doctor, okay, means to falsify. Okay, so, you know, all these people are uh, are full of shit, man. Um, let's see, that's in uh, Ecclesiastes Medicine. Uh, from the earth. I don't know the exact. Yeah, Ecclesiastes. All right, Sirach. Yep. Chapter 38. All right, Sirach or the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 38 and verse 4. And it reads, the Lord hath created medicines out of the earth. All right. And he that is wise will not abhor them. Right. He he that is wise, all right, which is the elect, all right, right now. All right, beginning with the 144,000. He that is wise will not shrink back from taking 
All right, medicine's out of the earth, man. All right, the herbs. Okay, um, and then and then you know you have to pray. It's not just taking the herbs and, and eating right. You gotta you gotta pray to the Lord as well. All right, um, let's go back to the witch doctor. The bloodstream, and and it's sort of like the fungal equivalent of sepsis. We've all heard of sepsis mm -hmm. with uh, bacteria. This is sort of the fungal equivalent of that. Okay, what are some of the symptoms besides just seeing a mark? Because I think people watching are going to say, look and say, I see something on my arm and then get nervous about it. Sure. No, it's mostly fever and systemic symptoms. So it, it, look like, it would look like flu-like symptoms. Okay. All right. And, and talk to us about how can you, you know, protect yourself from it, especially, you know, if we're taking care of elderly parents or somebody that, you know, is in a nursing home. Sure. So the average person isn't going to have to think about this. They're going to go about their business. They're going to wash their hands. They're going to just live their normal life. If you're taking care of somebody or if you work in one of these kinds of facilities, it's important to maintain hand washing. Uh, all of the rules and, and the protocols that are set in place by these facilities, uh, chain, sanitizing rooms between patients, sometimes they're bringing in UV lights. Yeah, that's, a, that's it. Hey, the most high, you know, he's going to send out a uh, uh, real pestilence soon. OK, that whole 2020 deal. All right. That's going to pale in comparison to what's coming, man. All right, pestilence is a big part, all right, of, of, in, of end times prophecy, okay? Luke chapter 21 and verse 11, this is Yahweh shall speak in red lettering, if you have a, a red letter Bible, all right, Yahweh shall spoke these words to his men, all right, telling them, all right, what was going to uh, be taking place, all right, toward the end of this age, man, to, toward the end of Esau's rule, toward the end of Esau's world, all right? And great earthquakes, Luke chapter 21, verse 11. And great earthquakes, I think a 6.6 .6 on the Richter scale just hit Afghanistan, if I'm not mistaken. All right. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, okay, all over the place, in other words. And famines and what? And pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven, right? You know, all, all the chariot sightings, okay? And not only that, but, you know, we know Esau has... Project Blue Beam. So you know we you know, we, you know we know he's messing around, you know with his uh, technology on the left hand side. Okay, there's fearful sights and great signs going to be from heaven, man. All right, all preceding the return of our Lord and Yahweh Shai. All right, because he's getting ready to come back, man, in the chariots. All right, and these are the things that again that are going to be going down in the earth prior to his return. And this has happened in the past, and it's going to happen again. It, it happened in ancient Egypt, man. All right, it happened. In, this happened in ancient Israel as well. All right, and it's getting ready to happen again. The Bible says there's no new thing under the sun, and right now we living in spiritual Egypt. Okay, Ezra talked about it in Second Ezra the fifteenth chapter how the Lord was going to smite Egypt with plagues as before, pestilence, man. All right, Amos chapter four verse ten. I have sent among you the pestilence. After the manner of Egypt, you young men have I slain with the sword slack and I've taken away your horses and I have made the stink of your camps to come up unto your nostrils. Yet have you not returned unto me, saith the Lord Yahweh, right? You got to return to the Lord, man. All right. And this and and this is showing you how, you know, uh, um, only the Israelites all right, can make it. OK, because you can't return to something you were never a part of to begin with. All right, repentance, all right, as for the children of Israel, man. All right, not no other nation. So, yeah, you need to, hey, you Israelites who haven't done so, you got to come back to the Lord, man. Come back to the bishop and shepherd of your souls before it's too late. All right, because the Lord, he's getting ready to uh, destroy this place, man. But before he totally takes this place now, all right, via fire, all right, he's going he's gonna to take out millions with what? You know, famines, earthquakes, pestilences. All right. Um, something in Jeremiah. Now, let's get this one in Ezekiel. So like Ezekiel chapter 5, verse 12. A third part of these shall die with the pestilence. And with famine shall they be consumed in the midst of thee, and a third part shall fall by the sword round about thee. And I will scatter a third part 
and to all the winds, and I will draw out a sword after them. Okay, so look, again, this happened in the ancient world, and it's going to happen again, man. All right, the two thirds, man, you, you, you going down again via the sword, via famine, all right, and via pestilence. Okay. Uh, what was that in Jeremiah? I think it was 14. I don't want her to read. Yeah. All right. And this goes into how, you know, the Lord is only dealing with the elect, man. He's not hearing the prayer. He's not going to hear the prayers of the two thirds. All right. So, it's a, you know, when you pray, pray for the elect of Israel. Okay. Because, because uh, uh, the Lord said, you know, he's not going to hear the cry of two thirds. When the two thirds start crying, crying out, when they realize that Esau is the devil, when they realized that that they heard that they were in the, uh, you know, in in the midst of the prophets, that a prophet was among them, all right. When they realize all these things, you know, it's going to be too late, man, and they're going to cry out, but the Lord is not going to hear them, you know. So we spoke, we supposed to be praying for the elect, man, starting with, you know, the the men of the Lord first, all right. Again, His servants, the prophets, okay, the men who are doing His work, beginning at the top with the uh, elder apostles of the great millstone, all right, and for all the believers, man. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 12, when they fast, I will not hear their cry. <clears throat> it's like, and when they offer burnt offering and oblation, I will not accept them, but I will consume them by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. Okay. Now, pestilence isn't going to be, <laughs> especially that noisome pestilence, which is, you know, the, the nuclear destruction is coming, isn't going to touch the elect. It tells you that right here in the Psalms, uh, in the book of Psalms. The 91st chapter, all right, Psalms chapter 91 and verse 3, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. That's talking about, again, the nuclear destruction, all right? Skipping down to verse 6, and it reads, Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday, right? So so pestilence, you know, isn't, isn't going to, okay, uh, 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 overtake the election. All right, and that's the promise, and that's the comfort, and you have to rest in these promises. All right, which you know his promises going into Romans and I chapter they only for the Israelites. You have to rest in his promises. Okay, that sore is not going to overtake you. The famine, the, these earthquakes, all right, these pestilences. All right. Yeah, that's it. You know, just a quick, quick lesson. You know, hey. You know, the CDC, they're up to their old, you know, they, they, their old, you know, trickery, man. Is it because all they push on the people is witchcraft. These people are a bunch of warlocks, all right, wizards, doctors, okay, or witch doctors, okay? So, hey, just, you know, hey, hey, uh, you know, keep keep your head on a swivel, you know, keep watching. We're going to keep watching. You know, we're, we're going to keep on our spiritual watchtowers and, and keep uh, uh, reporting back to, the lambs, y'all, bust me outside. So, hey, you know, uh, with that, you know, Lord willing, I don't want to wrap this out. You was edified onto the next video. Shalom.